good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our second upload of the day. Actually, going to be probably a three-upload day, if you can believe that. But uh, just stay tuned, man. Today, we have some brand new WWE action figure reveals that I wanted to go through with you guys that were posted up to WWE.com, and I wanted to get on here and cover them with you. We got some new stuff here today, man. I'm pretty excited for it. We got some good things. We got some not-so-good things, and we're just going to discuss all of it because I think it's worth discussing, and let's just go ahead and dive into it, man. So starting out first, let's start off with this new vehicle, man. Look at this right here. We have a new Wreck and Slam motorcycle. I don't know why I said motorcycle. It's a, it's a four-wheeler. It's an ATV. It's a quad bike, you know, depending on where you're from in the world. I'm in Alabama, so it's a four-wheeler, you know what I'm saying? So what do you call them where you're from? Anyways, as you guys can see, we have a quad bike here, ATV, with Big E on it. Now, I guarantee that Big E is going to be on uh, on a show here, here coming soon, and he's going to be on a four-wheeler. Like, I, I mean, no doubt about it, they're going to absolutely make something out of this. You guys can see that uh, the pieces break off like we've seen in the past with the Wreck and Slam cycle, with the Wreck and Slam mobile, with the ambulance, which is cool. I like this a lot. You know, we haven't seen this before. You can spray paint it black. You can put an Austin 316 on it. You can put the skull on there, and you can give you know Stone Cold Steve Austin his four-wheeler that he's rode before on uh, on WWE television but very odd because uh, the Big E figure comes with this he, they must have known that Big E was going to be WWE champion because this makes no sense I mean uh, if he won money in the bank and then they just stuck him on a four-wheeler they obviously had some sort of no there there, there was something in the no at Mattel that you know somebody at WWE told him that Big E would be there but I love this I think this is awesome you can also have it where a superstar stands on the back it seems a little platform there, which is really cool as well. Great stuff, man. I like this a lot. I think it's pretty cool. It gives us something new to, to see there. And the only thing I'm really not liking is the forearm grips there. They kind of throw me off how they grip the wrist. Don't know why you would need that. You know, if you're on a four-wheeler and you start wrecking and then it's grasped to your wrist, you're pretty F there, man. So there is the Wreck and Slam four-wheeler, or, or I don't know what they're calling it. This Wreck and Slam... I don't know what they're calling it. It's the Wreck and Slam something. I didn't look at the name. But let's dive into the new Elite Legends line, man. Coming up next, we have the next Legend series here. And starting off first, man, we have this Triple H figure that looks sick AF. You guys remember the Billy Gunn that we got? We're also getting an X-Pac, and we're also getting a China in this set. Not in this exact set, but, you know, in the Legend set. We got the Billy Gunn. Now we're getting the Triple H. Brand new head sculpt we're seeing right here. He's got the, you know, the Cloth DX shirt, which is kind of crazy because it just came with the Elite 86 Triple H and the Billy Gunn, and now we're seeing it again here. So tons of DX shirts going around. You got the camo pants, which are beautiful, and it doesn't have a photo of the, the tights underneath, which I really, really wanted to see. They don't have that. It's kind of like an updated Elite 23 Triple H, I guess, like a brand new one. Double jointed arms new head sculpt where he's speaking. Kind of an awkward head sculpt if he's not speaking, but it looks pretty good. I like it. You know, I don't have any problems with it. Great likeness and stuff like that, but I can't wait to see the gear underneath because I know what gear it is, and it's a gear that I've been asking Mattel for forever. So, Triple H looks really good, man. Moving on in the set, we have the Hurricane, man. Look at this Hurricane figure. I love this. It looks just like my custom that I made for, you know, Vindication way long ago. Uh, you know, it, it looks pretty much identical to it. It's a little bit different. You got the dual black sleeves that we use. Double jointed arms. Great looking head sculpt. I love the cape. I wish there was a photo of it with the cape off. But the cape looks sick AF. It even has, like, the top part of the cape there. Really great. I love the Hurricane figure. I think it looks fantastic. They did give him Johnny Gargano Syndrome. Very big deal there. Do not like that whatsoever. But what are you going to do, Brad? I mean, you, you pretty much just have to cry about it at this point. They're, they're not going to switch it from the Elite 75 Hurricane that we got back in the day or a couple years ago or whatever it was. So that is pretty upsetting. However, you know, the Hurricane still looks really good, and I'm excited for it. So I, I'm all for that. You know, an official Hurricane. Don't have to worry about paint chipping and stuff like that. You know, uh, I'll put it up next to my other Hurricanes, and I like it. So, I, I like the Hurricane. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But moving on forward, guys, that we also have Jake the Snake Roberts, who is actually the Chase variant in the set, which is pretty cool. So, we do have the Chase variant in the set, Jake the Snake Roberts. You have the blue and red kind of gear with the flames, which looks pretty sick. I like this Jake a lot. The only thing I don't like about it, I love the double-jointed arms. I think those are great. I hate, hate, hate this torso for him. I feel like it makes his torso look tiny and short, and then his legs are massive and long. So it's like a really weird thing when you get the figure in hand. And it's also weird because this is going to be like four Jake the Snakes in the Legends line really quickly. You guys remember like a year ago, we got the, you know, the regular version and the Chase variant version. I think a head swap on those guys would be great. 
But I like the attire. I think the attire is nice. I, I wish they went with the ripped up torso with the chest hair on it. I like that for the Jake the Snake. I think it looks a little bit better. But you do get the snake accessory. You get the bag, interchangeable hands. And you also get the WCW version. I think it is with the black boots and the gray attire with the green, which I like a lot. I really dig the Chase variant version. I think it looks a little bit better. And it's a little bit of a different take on Jake the Snake. So I like that a lot. I think that's pretty sick. And it looks to be the same head sculpt we've seen before in the flashback series, which is another thing. But uh, that is uh, the Jake the Snake Roberts. And then finishing out the set, we do have Bob Orton. So we have Cowboy Bob Orton. He's going to come with boxing gloves. He's got a cloth vest, a hat. This is a really cool figure. It also has double jointed arms as well. So really cool stuff. I like this Bob Orton. I think it's the best Bob Orton they've made. They've used this head sculpt for years and years. And I think this could make for a really great figure. I think this is going to be an excellent figure, actually. It looks really good. It's going to be very poseable. And that is sweet. I love the vest, too. You can put that on Hangman. You can put that on a, on a lot of different guys. So that would be cool as well if you want the cloth vest there. That is sick AF. I actually like that a lot. And you can put boxing gloves on different superstars since they're interchangeable. But after the Legends line and the Reckon Slam Cycle Man, we also have the Royal Rumble Elite Wave. The Build-A-Figure Jimmy Hart. Now, this wave's kind of weak, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Starting off first with the Big E figure. As you guys can see, he is in the Xavier Woods Get Well Soon attire. You know, pretty cool attire. It's going to match the Kofi Kingston that we got as well. He comes with the arms of the Jimmy Hart. Kind of plain Jane figure. Not my favorite Big E. Same head sculpt as before on his last Elite. He also has single-jointed old arm articulation. And I don't like the way it looks. It's like the rotation at the elbow. Single-jointed arms, it looks like. And I cannot stand it. I I, it just, ugh, man, that sucks. Wish it was just regular arms, like, uh, with the with the armband on there. Pretty cool to have, you know, the, the armband with the Get Well Soon Xavier Woods to go along with the Kofi, but not my favorite figure. You know, I like Big E a lot. I think this will work out. Him being WWE Champion and then being available in-store as an Elite and the Reckon thing there, that could work out good for them. But the packaging for this wave is sick AF. The new packaging with the Royal Rumble logo on there and the Clash of Colors. See, this is what I was expecting from the main Elite line. I didn't expect the blue packaging. I expected something like this with, like, grays and whites and reds and blacks, and I thought it would have looked a lot better for the main elite line, but this packaging looks really great. Can't wait to see what the rest of our, you know, like the ringside exclusives, I bet their new packaging is going to look sweet, and the same thing goes for these store exclusives, but moving on in the wave, man, we also have Earthquake, and he actually has double-jointed arms, so that's really nice to see for the Earthquake. He's in his light blue Canada attire there. Looks pretty sweet. I like it. Same kind of repeat head sculpt. Uh, not a bad figure, just not the most exciting, I guess you could say. But he does come with the torso and jacket for the for the Jimmy Hart figure and the waist wrap. Kind of just a plain Jane figure, you know. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely track it down. I want to review the full way for you guys. But in package looks great as well. Moving on in the set, we have Dakota Kai, who I think looks great. Really great looking Dakota Kai. I like the torso choice we got right here. It's like a new sculpted torso. You have the double jointed arms. You got the knee brace going on. You got the boot mold. Really interesting Dakota Kai. I like the head sculpt. Really great figure. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, really interesting uh, stuff going on with this. I like the unique look of it. And I think it's going to be a great figure. Uh, hopefully her knee is actually articulated. Like hopefully it's easy to articulate. She does have knee pads and a knee brace on there. So we'll have to see about that. But I like what we got going on with the gear and stuff. Dakota Kai looks really sweet. And uh, she comes with the legs of the Jimmy Hart figure. And then finishing up the Royal Rumble Elites, man, we have Yokozuna here. And this is kind of just a plain Jane figure. It does have a new head sculpt, which I like. It comes with the head sculpt and the megaphone and glasses for the Jimmy Hart. It comes with the bucket accessory. And it's pretty much a re-release of his Hall of Fame figure. Nothing really different besides the head sculpt. And he doesn't have double-jointed arms, I don't think. And he has the same white gear with the waist wrap and everything like that. He may actually have double jointed. I don't think he has double jointed. No, I don't think he has double jointed arms. So the Royal Rumble Wave overall, man, let me know what you guys think of it. Kind of a weak set in my opinion. I'm not really, I, I don't know. I feel like uh, most of this set may ride on shelves. We'll see about it. You know, we'll see about it. But uh, you guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I honestly think that Dakota Kai is the best figure in the set. So we'll have to see about that. Moving on, guys, we also have a look at the new Elite Collector's Edition Goon figure which looks really cool. Love the way this came out. He does have the John Cena lowers there, so that'll be interesting to see how he poses and stuff. He does have big shoes, though, like his feet are big, so hopefully he'll be able to pose well. Love the, the pose of him, like, you know, like ice skating down the rink there. Like that little hockey pose is sick AF. 
with the hockey gloves and the goon jersey. Really sick. I think the, you know, the packaging looks really sweet as well. Like, that's a great looking figure in packaging. And it kind of gives me, like, Jax vibes. But the goon looks sick. I, I love that we're getting this in WWE action figure form in the Mattel Elite line. So that all works out for me. I don't have any issues with the goon. Looks great. Looks terrific. So you have the Royal Rumble Elites. You have the goon figure. You have the Wreck and Slam, the Legends figures. And now we're going to dive into some figures that look very, very interesting, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into these new battle packs or championship showdown packs. Starting out first with this atrocity of a battle pack right here. Cesaro and Roman Reigns. First of all, look at these head sculpts. We've seen these head sculpts for years, man. That is the Elite 58 Cesaro head. We are on Elite Series 89, 31 series. We still haven't gotten a new Cesaro head. And look at his boots. They are kick pad mold, just painted his boot colors. So that looks very odd. I don't like the way that looks whatsoever. The Roman Reigns is playing Jane. And they come with these figure stands that look like the championship. So you have the Universal Championship figure stand. And I like the side plate stands. I thought those were way cooler. I don't like that they're they're switching it up right here. This is Series 7 that we're getting this switch. So they didn't last very long, which is kind of upsetting. But uh, you do have the, you know, the, the blue stand there, Universal Championship. I guess it'd be cool to get, like, guys that have held the Universal Championship and you put one on either side. But I don't know. You also have the clear figure stands, which I don't know if people like or not. I don't know. Just kind of an odd thing there. But moving forward, guys, another battle pack or championship showdown pack is Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kane. Same Kane face sculpt that we've seen before. Same Austin head sculpt that we've seen before. It does have, like, a darker beard, though, which I kind of like. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of digging this Austin head sculpt. It's the Royal Rumble head sculpt with the darker beard, which kind of works for me. He does have the one knee brace there. I don't mind this one near as much as the Roman and Cesaro. This one's significantly better. You also have the classic WWF Championship down there, which I like a lot as well. This one's a lot better. I like this one a lot better than the first one. However, still of a eh kind of battle pack. Um, I went to my local Walmart just the other day. I think it was yesterday. They had nine Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mankind battle packs, man. Nine of the same battle pack. They're going to rot there forever. I will, they'll never get rid of those unless they mark them down significantly. I don't know what they're going to do about that, but we have another Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kane Championship Showdown pack. Next up, guys, we have Rhea Ripley and Charlotte for the NXT Championship from their battle at WrestleMania. You got Rhea Ripley in the Vegeta gear, which I love, and then you have Charlotte in the pink. These, ha like, this is just, they just look so cheap, bro. Like, these figures look just not good at all. Uh, it just looks super cheap. Like, it's just no, I don't know. You guys can look, look at that Rhea Ripley. It just looks cheap, man. I mean, I don't know what to say. Head sculpt is eh. Another figure stand and stuff like that. I don't know what to say, bro. Like, they just don't look very good. Like, these aren't appealing looking battle packs to me. And there's not a lot of incentive for getting the battle packs. I'm sure there's people out there that enjoy these. But at this moment, man, I just feel like we're kind of in, like, a terrible era of, like, battle packs and basics, man. It's just really tough to see. You do get your one-offs. You do get your bangers here and there. But I'd say overall majority is just kind of like, man, it feels like something's missing or something like that. But that does it for your championship showdown packs. We also have some basic figures right here. And I want to know what your guys' opinion is. We have basic series. What basic series is this? We have basic series 125. Look at this packaging and tell me this just doesn't... It looks knockoff to me. I feel like this packaging looks so knockoff. And it doesn't look like the Elite packaging looked modern. It looked fresh. I feel like the basic packaging looks just knockoff. It looks like a knockoff brand or something. Like a company got a hold and they just threw together kind of like some packaging for the basics. I don't like the basic packaging. Also, we have basic 125. You have the rock here in the long pants. It's okay. I like the head sculpt. It's just a repaint of a former head sculpt, which isn't terrible. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's kind of a just plain Jane. You do have the, you know, you get the vest, which is cool. But uh, moving on, guys, we also have Jeff Hardy in the set. Really odd that the face paint is so small here. I feel like it needs to be, like, stretched and fit to the head better. I feel like, you know, they're missing a lot of paint on the outside of the face and on the forehead. And I know in the image, in the package, like, like he has some forehead exposed. But I feel like it's a little bit too much. You have some black missing from the out rim of the face paint, too. Just feel like it's too small. I feel like the Jeff Hardy Basics for the face paint is just too small for some reason. They did that on a lot of his Basics, I feel like. Like the, the green and blue when they did that, too. It's odd to me. We also have Elias. Great looking head sculpt. I think this would have been a great elite figure. I like the, you know, the skinny jeans with the boots. And you do have the wrist gauntlets on there, which could go good on an elite. But it is Elias. I don't know how, you know, it's a great head sculpt. I actually like this basic. It looks pretty good. 
It's just a basic, so you know it's not going to be that great once you get it in hand. And then we have Ember Moon, and they did not do her any favors here, man. I like the waist wrap. I like Ember Moon a lot. I think she's great. I don't see Ember Moon in this head sculpt. I don't think they did her any favors in the head. Uh, I don't see really Ember Moon in this head sculpt. I think just everything looks so odd when it's just painted over the plastic. Doesn't it, like, the chains on her on her top look very odd, just painted on there? It just looks like silver circles just o on her chest there. It just looks odd, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Just Please tell me I'm not insane. I feel like the head sculpt, again, looks off. I don't really see Ember Moon in this head sculpt. You guys can let me know what you think down in the, in the comment section below. But we also have Isaiah Swerve Scott, which I really like. Solid-looking head sculpt here. You have the Chase variant and the regular version. You have the green version. Then you have the red version, which... You know, uh, I think uh, fixing it up into an elite would be really cool. But you do have Isaiah Swerve Scott, which is always great to see in the, in you know, a new basic, new character there. So that's pretty cool as well. And then wrapping up our basics here, man, we also have uh, the Top Picks 2022 line. And it includes John Cena, Big E, and Drew McIntyre. And these are three horrifically basic basics. John Cena in the You Can't Stop Me shirt from WrestleMania, you know, from the little flashback match with The Fiend. You have the coloring book attire for Big E. I want to say that's a re-release basic. I could be tripping, but I want to say we've seen that basic before. And then we have the Drew McIntyre basic, which is the basic that came in the uh, in the battle pack with Seth Rollins, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe this one's using the Elite 83 head sculpt. But again, man, just plain Jane basics. Eh. And uh, I think that's all of the... Oh, yeah, we also have this, like, championship uh, belt toy with Drew McIntyre. That same Drew McIntyre basic and then a Randy Orton, which is uh, a repeat of a different Randy Orton before. But that is all of the figure news we have, man. Overall, love the Legends line. I think the Legend line, Legends line looks really sick. I like the goon that we saw. I think the Dakota Kai looks great. The Jimmy Hart looks good as well. But I don't know, man. Not a lot of good quality here with these reveals. They were posted up on WWE.com. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Definitely not my favorite day of reveals. I think we could have gotten some stuff a lot better, but I don't know, man. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Do you feel the same way as I do about some of these reveals? Please let me know down in the comment section below, man. But I think that is going to do it for the news. I wanted to get on here and discuss these things because some of it's just, ugh, man. I, I don't know. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Go check out Elite 89 Reviews that started today with Bobby Lashley and Drew McIntyre. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like a majority of the figures in today's reveals. You cross the line.